Hey, this is Ryan. Um, today I want to talk about uh, three funnel structures that are working really well right now um, and have always worked well for, for e-commerce. Um, so uh, what I mean by that is the way that you can position different offers and um, you know different ways that you can try and sell the, the same products and um, which are going to, you know, m in most cases give you wildly different results in terms of, you know, when whether you can do it profitably or, or not. So I'm going to go through the, the three um, most popular funnel structures that, um, you know, that I use and use for clients and stuff like that. And, um, you know, we'll start with the, the easiest going through to the most difficult. And we'll talk about some of the benefits um, and why you would want to choose each one and, you know, what the downsides are of each one and how to decide and, and things like that. And I'll give you um, a brief look at how it actually looks in our funnel template too. So out of the three, um, you know, the most, uh, what a lot of people start with on the, um, on the, on the front end is going to be, it's going to be free plus shipping. So this is probably the easiest to, to get to work. Um, you know, it has some upsides and it has some has some downsides. I've done plenty of free plus shipping, um, and you know it's definitely a valid a valid model. So basically, how this would look is um, you know the the product is offered for you know quote unquote free on on the front end for the customer to pay a shipping cost somewhere you know usually between five and nine ten dollars something like that depending on the size and weight of the product that kind of thing and the perceived value of the product. Um, and you know that obviously gets people in the door, gets you the customer, and then you know what you want the funnel to do later on is upsell that customer with, you know, a um, related product, uh, hopefully a couple of related products, maybe more of the same of, of what they've just um, got on the free plus shipping offer, and then over the the course of you know someone going through the funnel, you know three, four, five steps, whatever you have, you know you should be able to turn a profit, even though you might be break even or or losing slightly on on the front end. So free plus shipping is where a lot of people start. The benefits are, you know, is the easiest way to get customers. It's the easiest way to build, you know, data on your Facebook pixel if you're doing Facebook ads. Um, and it will build you up an email list pretty pretty quickly. Um, the downside is, you know, obviously the margins are probably going to be pretty thin um, if you're able to make a profitable funnel. Um, you know, you can get uh, these funnels to, to have a good profit margin, but it can, can take a lot of testing to get there. Um, a lot of time people are just trying to cover their acquisition costs and make sure that they're not losing money on customers um, with, with these funnels. So if, you know, that's something you can afford to do, then that's great. Um, and then obviously the, the quality of, of customer is something that is worth talking about too. Um, it is a little bit of a different mindset. The person that is, you know, they're buying from you, but you know, they might be spending $7 um, to ship something to, you know, to them, but you know, in their mind, they still think it's free. So um, it is kind of a little bit of a lower quality customer in, in a lot of cases, just because it's people that are responding to a message, oh, get this free, and then they're seeing they pay shipping costs, and like, okay, this is still pretty cool, I'm gonna do it. You know, their commitment to you is kind of low. Um, obviously, you get people to go through and buy up sales in the funnel too, so that does increase the, the order value, but I think overall, it's safe to say that the quality of customer on a free plus shipping funnel is gonna be slightly lower than, um, you know, if you're doing higher price stuff or, or full price stuff. Um, so those are the positives and negatives of, of free plus shipping, but it's definitely a, um, a, a valid place to start. Um, you know, it can be a really good way to build a pixel and build a list for a lot of businesses. And, you know, the ne negatives that I just mentioned should not be like a reason not to, not to do this. Um, at the end of the day, if you have a good brand, you're selling good products that people like, then you know you should be able to uh, you should be able to build a healthy list up with with free plus shipping. Um, okay, so the next is the next is going to be like a, a bundle offer. Or my personal favorite is um, a buy two get one free offer. So this has a lot of this has a lot of strengths okay so buy to get one free offer um, you know pretty self-explanatory you probably know what it is um, you're basically saying you know buy two of these you know whatever bracelets and you know we'll throw in another one for um, you know at no extra cost and it can either be the same product which is the easiest way to do it if it makes sense for people to want multiple or like you know a related product like a free gift or, or whatever um, 
But essentially, um, the the buy buy two get one free has a couple of key um, has a couple of key points, um, key key benefits. Sorry. So first of all, let's assume that you know your say your product is you know twenty dollars, um, and you know you're saying buy two get one free. You know you have a your conversions there straight away are forty dollars um, before anybody has even done anything else. Okay. And you know, even if your um, even if your product, even if your margins aren't like amazing on on that product, say it might cost you seven, eight, ten dollars or whatever um, the the product itself. They say it costs you um, say it costs you seven dollars or something. So you have a forty dollar sale um, from the buy two get one three. You have you know a fulfillment cost of seven dollars per per item. So that you know you're giving people three of the items. So that's twenty one dollars cost. And then you know you have a forty dollars sale, so you have nineteen dollars margin, you know, right there, just on that very first transaction. Um, and obviously, you can charge shipping on on top of that to cover the shipping cost. Um, so you have nineteen dollars straight away, which gives you a lot of room to move with with advertising. And then you have you know your later upsells and things like that in the funnel. Um, hopefully, you're upselling at least one or two other related products. Um, so you know, overall, hopefully your your average order value is going to be, you know, more than forty dollars, closer to fifty or maybe even sixty, and um, which makes you know paid advertising um, a, a lot easier when you have you know more than twenty dollars in margin to, to play with. Um, the second benefit is obviously you know the quality of customer is going to be better. Um, you know, it still is. It, you know, you're still giving them a good offer, so it's someone that responding to to an offer that's not full priced. But the fact that they're, you know, buying two of your items at regular price in order to get a third one, is very, very good um, from like a the mindset of that person and, and what that person is willing to spend and what that person is able to spend and things like that. So, the the quality of person that responds to that and actually goes through that funnel and purchases, is um, is you know quite considerably higher than than free plus shipping funnel. Um, the downside, obviously. You know you're not going to get as many conversions, so um, you know you might be more profitable on each sell. You have better margins on each sell. You make you know overall make more money, but you won't be building up as big of a, a customer list or an email list, or it will take you longer to do that because you're getting um, less transactions but higher value. So um, obviously you're making good money now. You'll be slower to build your list if you're really big into um, monetizing the customer list with email campaigns and things like that, which I you know highly recommend and do a lot of. Um, so that is the that is the major um, major downside. The other downside is um, it doesn't work for all products. So you know if your margins are like not that great, if they're less than kind of you know fifty percent or something, like the product cost versus the sale price, then um, it can be difficult to, to get this to work where you're going to find that the margins are, are low on the overall conversion. So say, you know, if you're cost selling a t-shirt or something, you're doing print on demand stuff or say, you know, if you're selling a t-shirt and it costs you $10 and, you know, you're selling them for 20 bucks to buy two, get one free. Um, you know, your three t-shirts, that's $30 cost. Um, your transaction for buying two of them is 40. So, you know, that's only ten dollars um, margin on, on that front end sale, um, so you'll either have to be you know okay with that, charge higher prices, or you know be relying on the rest of the funnel to make up for your profitability with upsells and things like that. So, the fact that you are giving away one product makes this um, not the ideal model if you don't have you know the best margins on, on each item that you sell. And then the um, the third, uh, so I, I would say that this is the second easiest to, to get to work. Because um, if you have a really good uh, product and you're able to properly put it up for you know buy two get one, then you're you're going to be in a, in a great position to to have a really good campaign. Um, and the third is just going to be your um, really just your regular retail price. So this is your uh, regular retail price offer. So this is basically, um, you know, where a lot of brands start. You know, this is, product is, you know, twenty five dollars. Um, here is the product. Here are the benefits of the product. Like these are some people that like the product and testimonials. And you're really just selling the product on the strength of the product itself. 
and you know the fact that you are confident that whatever market you're selling to is, is going to really want it and you are you know you're trying to do it without um, you know putting any discount in there and or, or anything like that and basically just saying you know this is already a great deal $25 this is why you should buy it um, slight variation on that is just to um, you know build some discount into your pricing so you, to say you know it's usually 35 today it's 25 um, or, or whatever but the point is you're selling just one product um, you're not doing um, anything specific in terms of position and offer like free plus shipping or buy two get one you're basically just saying this is the offer and um, this is a product this is why it's worth it um, and you know if the product is you know a really good product that your market wants then you know you can definitely have success with this um, strengths of that obviously and um, the people that come through the funnel are not really responding to any discount so um, you know they're going to be higher quality and um, your margins might be um, might be a little bit lower um, on on the front end um, if you're selling you know just one thing for for twenty bucks um, you know you might only have ten or twelve dollars or maybe up to fifteen dollars margin but if you have higher price products like a fifty dollar product sixty seventy hundred dollar product um, this funnel can do really really well um, as you have you know a lot of margin built in you don't need to do discounting and, and things like that so this is great for higher price products not so good for lower price product and I probably recommend one of the first two um, so yeah this 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 is you know kind of the simplest way to, to do it. It, it I put it at the end in terms of it being the hardest to get to work because um, it's really dependent on the pro product being like really really good and really really appealing so if you already have that down definitely try this um, if your product is a you know, kind of higher priced and is more than say thirty dollars, um, definitely try this too. Um, it might be a bit more difficult to make this work for things that are like twenty dollars and, and under. So that's why I've said that it might be a little bit more difficult to to get this profitable than than the others. Um, so those are the three funnel structures that work. Um, I'm going to show you exactly uh, what the funnel looks like to to put these through and what happens after people go through you know whatever this front end um, positioning is and um, you know there's a link below this to get the funnel template that I'm about to show you as well um, if you click your link it will just copy it for you directly into your ClickFunnels account so that you can um, just edit it and start using it and uh, it doesn't cost anything it's completely completely free and if you don't already have a ClickFunnels account it will create a free trial with this already in there so the um, the, the funnel structure is like this it's, it's currently set up for um, like the text in there currently is free plus shipping but you know you can change this to any of the um, any of these structures that we've just showed you here so um, the sales page looks like this um, we then move on to an order form where people click through the sales page to actually make the purchase and here they have options to upsell um, and add more than one as well for, for better pricing. Um, after the order form we go to um, a one-time offer. Uh, I like to test out initially with um, offering the same product again for you know an, an extra discount um, or you can offer a related, uh, related product if that doesn't make sense and then one-time offer two would usually be either um, you know higher value or lower value um, related product that makes sense for people that have just bought whatever you're selling to to go ahead and, and add to their order and then and thank you page um, so that's usually the structure um, sales page order form page one time offer number one one time offer number two I'll just show you some of the pages so this is the um, like this is the, the original sales page and this will take them to the order form or it can collect an email and then take them for the order form whatever you like some testimonials more photos and another button and then You'll see all this if you uh, get the get the funnel template below. So this is what the order form looks like: a really high converting order form, and this will have options to buy more um, more items when you add them in in ClickFunnels. And then the the one time offer template looks similar, but you know very clean, just yes or no. I'm um, similar to the sales page, and this converts really really well. Um, so yeah, if you use the link below this video, you will um, get this template into your ClickFunnels account. Um, so really choose one of these funnel structures for your front end um, you know amend the um, amend the uh, front end of the the funnel to to reflect that whether it's free plus shipping bundle or full price and then you know whatever you do on that front end you want to go order form upsell upsell thank you page um, you know generally as a as a good starting structure at least so 
Um, I hope that helps. Click below to get the um, the free funnel template. Um, also, below if you want to see, um, you know, there's a training on how to actually see what your competitors are doing and see what funnels are working for them and model those to use in your own business. So it'll talk you through how to find competitor funnels to see what they're doing in your market to make sure they're profitable and then replicate those as a starting point for your own campaign so you can have a really high chance of um, getting them to work. So check out that training below. It's a ClickFunnels training. Uh, it's linked in the description too. And again, that's free. That's just a webinar. So, um, all right. I hope that's helpful. Um, check out the funnel link below and check out the ClickFunnels um, training webinar below too. And if there's any questions, um, leave them in the comments and I will respond. Thanks.